Hello everybody, TA Drag Racer here. I'm here to update our OBS video. The settings I use, quarter and 4K, try to get a nice smooth operation. My system, it's got an RTX 3080 Ti Ryzen 9 5950X CPU. I do have 64 gigabytes of memory in it. That's my basic system. I use LG C2 televisions for monitors at 120 hertz. I run them at full 4K. I'm using, I believe, 10-bit color. Let's go look at it here. 120 hertz, 3840 by 2160, and I'm using 10-bit color depth. So here are my basic settings. First thing I do, go into video. I make sure it's set to my base resolution. I don't rescale it. I leave it at 3840, 2160, and 60 frames per second. You hit apply. Under general, the only thing I usually change is hide OBCS window from screen capture. If I turn that on right now, we won't be able to see the screen. You don't have those multiple views coming through that looks like infinity mirror. Under output and recording, make sure you have the mode on advanced. I leave it on standard. I set the record location to on one of my M.2 drives, high speed capture location, or I put the videos. I'm now using MKV again. The last video I put out, I was using MP4 because I couldn't get the MKV to look nice without stuttering. Now there's no problems after all these updates we've had with OBS. The advantage of that is if you're recording your computer crashes, you still have all your content on there. It'll save what you recorded. It won't delete it or won't be corrupted. Next, NVIDIA NVENC H.264 because I'm running an NVIDIA RTX GPU. I left this audio encoder standard. I don't rescale the output. Under re encoder settings, I go to CBR. I set my bit rate to 80,000. Keyframe interval, I have at one second. I'm using the P6 slower, better quality preset. Tuning high quality. I'm using two pass quarter resolution. Profile high. Psycho visual tuning checked on. GPU zero, max frames two. Now these you may have to change depending on your system. If you're not getting good videos, you need to decrease these or you can increase them if you have a better system. But these are the settings I use for my system. Audio, I used to map this to my mic, but with the dual monitor setup, I was having problems every time I'd switch from one monitor to the other. I'd have to reboot the system to get it to work properly for some reason. So I just leave them on default and I haven't had any problems since then. I haven't changed any of these other settings. I do set some hotkeys to help with recording. I have not changed accessibility. Under advanced, I'm using normal processing. It seems to work fine, so I left it at normal. This, I've pretty much left a default. Direct 3D 11, the HDR numbers I've left the same. Recording I've left default, stream delay. You can automatically remux to MP4. I prefer to edit my MKV files, so I don't do that. If you want an MP4 file instead of an MKV file in the end, I would still record an MKV, hit that, and it will automatically make an MP4 for you if you're not going to do any editing or that's what you wish to edit. And I've left all these the same. Make sure you hit apply before you exit. Now, if you're recording your desktop like I am, I have to have it turned on so you see this infinite display. Try to ignore that. If you want to play your games in hdr leave your screen on hdr but you want to record normally the way to do that you have your desktop selected your display capture is set to desktop go to properties this is the same thing you'll do if you're doing iRacing minecraft this is the properties you'll select i'll show you a screen of that later but display on click on display capture properties and force sdr my screen's set up in HDR mode. See, if I click this off, you can see the screen becomes washed out. When you record it, it's going to look really washed out because you're playing in HDR, but it's not encoding the HDR properly. Force SDR, and you're using desktop, you'll get your nice ranges back, and it'll look really nice in the recording. Now, if you're going to use one of these settings, like these are my different games, now, if you're using game capture like I am in these games, you'll do the same type of thing, but the screen you come to in properties will be a little different. I can't display that because if I switch off of desktop, all this is going to go away and you won't see it. <laughs> I don't have anything to record my screen at this moment other than OBS. 
So what you want to do though, you want to select the scene, you'll go and it'll be a game capture, select that, click on properties, and then this is what you'll see. If you're watching your game in HDR and you're on the game capture, what you need to set is click on your source, go to properties in the crossbar, you'll see the screen pop up. You have two options in this section. The default is sRGB. You want to change it to rec.2100pq. That allows you to get HDR content into your video. And as long as you have the NVENC 264 selected, you're not going to record in HDR, but this will make the video look more normal for you while you're playing. Now for this part of the video, I want to show you a couple of the videos I made using this recording. One's in iRacing with HDR turned on while I was playing. The other's in Minecraft. This is my video. <laughs> Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead. You can see the graphics look really good in the night background. It's nice, smooth streaming. I'm not jerking at all. The car graphics look really good. The inside car graphics look really good. I'm playing in HDR, but I'm recording with that option so that it doesn't look washed out. Before my videos would look all washed out. Now here we're going slow. I'll pick it up where we're going faster. See, it's still pretty smooth, nice, clean video. Another game I like to play is Minecraft. Minecraft is not an HDR game, but I leave my monitor and system set up in HDR mode. I have found when I switch between modes, it just causes issues with my system. I have to reboot it sometimes. So I like to leave everything set in HDR mode. And the game just looked recorded, was washed out. So I use the same, I go to games and I'd set it to PQ2100 and it would correct those issues and I'm still using the HVENC 264 recording option and this is what the gameplay would looks like pretty good one to show here's rain you can see the videos nice and smooth it's not washed out, you got vibrant colors, so it works really good for recording in Minecraft as well, these settings. And I don't change any of my settings between games. Originally I was doing that, I would, when I go into Minecraft, I'd turn my monitor off HDR, I'd go into Minecraft, have it set up to record that, then when I go to iRacing I'd have to change it, or some of my other video games I'd have to change it if I wanted to record them. Those are settings, I just leave those settings the same. And I've adjusted OBS to adjust for the games instead of me adjusting everything every time I change a game. And it seems to work pretty well. The motions look good. Colors are vibrant. Everything looks nice and normal on there. And it's all in 4K recording. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope this is a help to you. I did update it because... The older video became outdated and I would change my settings quite a bit. I would love it if you'd leave a like if you enjoy the video. Consider subscribing to my channel. And this is TA Drag Racer. I'll see you the next go.